Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a delicious red velvet crepe cake. It is easy to make, just takes a little bit of time but definitely worth it in the end. So let's go over the ingredients we'll be needing for our red velvet crepes. Here we have some flour, unsweetened cocoa powder and some salt. You will need some milk and some half and half cream. Here we have some eggs, sugar and some butter. You will need to melt your butter before adding it into the red velvet crepe batter. And here we have some vanilla extract and some red food coloring. That's all you're going to be needing for your crepes. And when it is time to make your filling, I will show you the ingredients you will need at that time. So to make our crepes, you will need a blender. That's pretty much it. And then when we actually um, cook our crepes, you will need a frying pan, a large frying pan, and some butter. And that's pretty much it. So let's move on to making our red velvet crepe cake. Okay, so now we are ready to make our crepes. So what I'm going to do is add in all of my ingredients except for my red food coloring. And then I am going to blend my ingredients for about one minute. And then we will add in our red food coloring. I usually like to add in a couple of tablespoons, but just keep adding in the red food coloring until you have a nice vibrant red color. So you can add as much or as little as you like, whatever you prefer. I'll let you know how much of the red food coloring that I used. Everything will be in the description box there for you. Okay, so I blended my crepe batter for one minute. Now, halfway through, I went in with my spatula and made sure that there was no flour or anything along the sides. So you want to make sure you do that. And now we are ready to add in our red food coloring. So I'm going to add in one tablespoon and then mix for about a minute. And then if I'm happy with the color, I will leave it. If not, I will add in some more. And you want to make sure that after adding in your food coloring, you mix your ingredients for another two to three minutes. Okay, so I ended up using two tablespoons of red food coloring. As you can see here, it is very red, but I am going to pour it into this bowl so you can see the color and the consistency of the batter, and then we will be ready to make our crepes. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to add more food coloring, you can go ahead, just make sure it is a nice vibrant red, and that's it. So I'm going to pour it in here so you can see. Okay, so now we are ready to make our crepes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quarter cup measuring cup and I will just make every crepe that, uh, that amount and it'll give you even sized crepes. So that is what we're looking for for our cake. And that's about it. So you want to have your um, skillet that has been preheated already. And once it's preheated, you want to place about a teaspoon of butter and allow it to melt and then start making your crepes. If you see as you go along that you need to add a little bit more of butter, just add in half a teaspoon at a time and go from there. Okay, so when making your crepes, just a couple of things. You want to make sure that your skillet is about 10 inches. You don't want a very big skillet, but if you do have a larger skillet, like a 12 inch skillet, then maybe you could switch to a one third of a cup measuring cup and it will give you a larger uh, crepe and you will be able to turn it around on your skillet well and they will all be the same size. Also, um, when greasing your skillet, if you want to use nonstick spray, you can do so as well. You can spray your pan after making a few crepes and then take some paper towel and just dry the excess uh, spray. Just like the butter, you want to make sure that you're not putting a lot of butter or your crepe will fall apart in the pan. So just a few tips. 
Okay, so we are ready to make our filling for our crepe cake. Now, I just wanted to go over a couple of things before we do so. Our crepes, they cooked one and a half minutes on the first side, and then once you flip them, you will cook them for another 30 seconds or so. And you will notice before you flip them that the top is, um, just pretty much cooked and you don't see any more liquid and the bottom you'll notice it is completely cooked so about a minute to a minute and a half is usually how long it takes on medium heat and um, that's that you also need to make sure that your crepes are completely cooled before you place your filling inside each of the layers so that is very important too so we are definitely ready to make our filling now okay so we are going to make a delicious cream cheese filling what we are going to need for our filling is some softened cream cheese at room temperature must be soft at room temperature you will need some icing sugar also known as powdered sugar some vanilla extract okay and you will also need some heavy cream that has been whipped up to medium to firm peaks will show you here and there's no sugar in my whipped cream I just whipped the actual cream and um, that's pretty much it so the first thing we are going to do is in a bowl we are going to use our handheld electric mixer and we are going to whisk our uh, cream cheese we're going to mix it until it is smooth and you no longer see any chunks of cream cheese in it after that we will add in our icing sugar and our vanilla extract and whisk again until smooth and then we will fold in our whipped cream that we have previously whipped into the cream cheese mixture with a spatula and then we will be ready to layer our red velvet crepe cake. Okay, so our filling is ready and we are ready to prepare and layer our red velvet crepe cake. So what you want to do is start off with one crepe and just place it on the bottom, okay? And then you're going to place some of the filling now you don't want to place uh, too much filling on top of your layers or else they'll start to come out of the sides. So you want to leave about half an inch of a space around the crepe without any filling. Okay, so my crepe cake was in the fridge for one hour. You want to give it some time to set. You can leave it in a little bit longer if you like. And um, when filling your layers, you want to make sure that you add about three to four tablespoons of the filling each layer. You don't want to place too much filling because it will come out through the sides. Once you have served your cake or until you serve your cake, you want to keep it in the fridge, of course. And now cover it loosely with some plastic wrap as well before placing it in the fridge. So I'm just going to unwrap mine here. And of course you can serve it any way you like with some uh, whipped cream on top, some powdered sugar. Uh, you can make some designs, add some chocolate shaving, some fruit with some whipped cream. You can do whatever you like. Whatever you do, I promise you it's going to be delicious. Okay, so instead of um, making some decorations with the whipped cream, I just spread it out on top of my um, crepe cake here, but you can definitely decorate it any way you like. So what I did was I also just decorated it with some shredded chocolate, and that's about it. So now we are definitely ready to cut a slice and try it. It is so good, so delicious, and you are going to love this. It is 
pretty easy to put together but does take a little bit of time and it's definitely worth it in the end all the layers all the filling and it is very important to allow your cake to set make sure you leave it in the fridge for a few hours or overnight is always best and I do suggest that you decorate the top of your cake once you are ready to serve it so until then just leave it as it is and then you can decorate it any way you like when you are ready to serve the cake. And that's pretty much it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye, everyone.